Welcome to our next Bible reading and short reflection to be listened to in conjunction with our communion service taking place via Zoom, Facebook on the 5th of August this year. I hope this finds you well. And so the reading set for this morning, which is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, it is, Lord. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. The episode of the Canaanite woman talking with Jesus is beautiful. What we lose in our culture is just how much the Jewish folk would not have communicated with this Canaanite person, especially as she was a woman. Our Sunday school understanding of Jesus is that he will simply help everyone just like that. But that isn't quite what you see here. Jesus is quite clear in his mission. I was only sent to, to the lost sheep of Israel. And it, his disciples are getting a bit annoyed at this woman. Sent her away. She keeps crying out after us. And there's this lovely pithy conversation between the two about dogs and crumbs. And of course, Jesus does bring healing and wholeness to the woman's child. What else can we glean from this passage? So the woman knew deeply that Jesus could help her and she pursued that with dogged determination. We can overlook the intensity of this exchange. Again, the disciples sent her away. She's following us. She's calling after us. We've all seen the kind of thing, someone calling, shouting out after someone else when you want them to stop. Breaking social norms makes people feel so uncomfortable. And this Canaanite woman is breaking all the social norms she can think of. A foreign woman speaking to a devout Jewish rabbi. So she is keen to pursue Jesus. Jesus commends the woman for her faithfulness and determination. It is that which makes Jesus go beyond his own boundaries to help her. This is a story of hunger, trust and determination. The woman is hungry to encounter Jesus. The woman is very trusting of Jesus. She knows he can help her. The woman is determined to get the answer she needs. So what big challenges of life are you facing at the moment? Is that challenge something that you have asked Jesus to be involved with? Are you prayerfully pursuing this with the same determination of this woman? Can you imagine what is going through the woman's mind during this encounter? There is a real tussle going on here. This isn't an instant gratification. This woman has a real deep problem that is causing her and her daughter to suffer. And even during this encounter with Jesus, she has to pursue this. I have not been sent for this, she, he says to her. 
The message of the story is when it comes to challenging situations, how much do we pursue Jesus and then let Jesus in on the problem? How much do we pursue Jesus to help us? How much do we trust and deeply want Jesus to help us? We may say we do, but does our hunger really show that? Keep on going. Keep pursuing Jesus. There are often many reasons why something we've been praying after may not happen in the way that we think it should. But one thing is clear from this. Keep going. Keep being determined. Jesus will see you through.